How's it going guys? Alex here. Welcome back to another SSR analysis video and today we are going to be taking a look at the rebirth for Tecmo for Shenron and straight away you can tell that he is a very good unit in multiple areas. For example, if we get started with his leader skill, his leader skill is actually almost better than Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks's just simply because... Just simply because he gives a bigger stat boost, the only difference is that Nova doesn't give an attack boost unfortunately, but he is still a good replacement if you don't have Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Honestly, if you don't have Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, you can go ahead and run a Nova Shenron lead and a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks friend if you really want to run a Monotech team because it's still um, going to be a good team. Obviously, you won't get as much of an attack boost, but you will be getting the um, HP boost, which is definitely one of the most important things from that stat boost. Defense isn't too important, but again, if you have units with a high defensive style like, um, like LR Goku, it is going to make a bigger difference, obviously. But overall, his leader skill is very surprising. It's insane to see that they almost made him um, his leader skill as good as Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is. It's comparable to Golden Freezer in a way because um, even though Golden Freezer doesn't give key, he obviously does give a 100% stat boost to um, all stats. And um, again, Tech um, Nova Shenron is similar to to both of them in a way but it's a shame that he doesn't give an attack boost but again that would just be basically disregarding Gotenks in a way so moving on to his super attack he causes supreme damage and raises his own attack for three turns so I'm guessing that attack raise is about 30% maybe a bit less um, passive skill key plus three and a 90% attack boost when facing one opponent so that honestly isn't a problem because you're going to be facing one opponent the majority of the time unless you are maybe doing story quests or different events obviously the main events in the game are Dokken events and the majority of the time they only have one opponent so um, this restriction isn't a problem at all his link shadow dragons Shocking Speed, Gentleman, Cold Judgment GT, and Shattering the Limit. And then his 12 key multiplier is 135%, which isn't too bad, but as I said before, it's not the greatest. This is probably the bare minimum for um, rebirths, I'd say. Anything below that is pretty bad. So, overall, Anova Shenron is honestly a very surprising unit. I've pulled him multiple times on Global and JP. Of course, if you've seen that summoning video, you will know that I was extremely triggered. But he is very strong in multiple areas. For example, I talked about his leader skill. You can use it in certain situations if you don't already have a tech type lead. He can hit hard. Unfortunately, his 12 key multiplier isn't as high as I would have liked it to be. And of course, he doesn't have the fierce battle link, which would have provided him with an additional 15%. And of course, um, an additional 15% attack to the unit that he is linked up with. And if, I said, um, I've said this before, the problem with shocking speed on a monotech team is that it's suboptimal. There are several units that you can use to help him fit. But the good thing is, he is self-sufficient. Again, just because he um, he is self-sufficient, he will be able to super attack himself. But because you most likely won't be providing key to other units, your other units may suffer, but he won't. So you can play with a few units here and there just to make him fit because he is a good unit if you don't have too many top tier tech types. Again, he's going to hit hard regardless of not having fierce battle. He gets a 90% attack boost as well. He would probably fit much better on a villain team just because, again... A lot of the units there do have shocking speed. You have Omega Shenron, you have Buhan. Those are just a few examples. And again, you have the double Rose lead, which again allows you to super attack easier because Rose gives key with his passive. And if you were to run a double Merge Marcy lead, the fact that he is self sufficient helps out a lot. And he also has GT. So if you were to link him up with Omega Shenron, again, it would just help out if you were to run him in a certain setup because I've said before that a merge and Masu lead is much harder to maintain because not too many villains share a lot of links for example one or two villains may share at least one link with each other but the majority of the time they may not even share one so that is where Rose is extremely important but the fact that Nova Shenron is self-sufficient definitely helps out a bunch. And he does have good links, so even though he is self-sufficient, he is providing something to the other units if he isn't super attacking himself, which he probably will be the majority of the time. However, as I said before, if you were to run a double merge and Marcy lead or a Rose merge and Marcy lead, the fact that he is self-sufficient definitely helps you use the team a bit easier just because you can prioritize key for other units that may struggle to super attack. And you know, there are multiple different factors that come into it when you're picking your units and obviously your lead but overall he is definitely a good unit he has a good leader skill he hits pretty hard he gets that 90% attack boost he is self-sufficient and he has good links 
As I said before, there are factors where it may or may not work, but he is still a great unit regardless. But that is the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.